Hey everybody, look who it is, it's Matt. Hi. Matt is also affected by the weather. It's really rainy outside, so he's in his comfy clothes and I think he's gonna be a homebody tonight. Even though we're gonna go try to watch the fireworks. I found a new recipe that I'm going to try. What is it? Oh my god, look at this photo of you. Chicken and artichoke. Oh my god, let me cover up. No way. <gasps> you still look like a baby. Well, I need pumpkin spice, even though Matt hates it. Sarah needs caramel, caramel mocha frappuccino because that's her absolute favorite. They only have it during the fall. Right? It just came out today. I know, same with PSL. So I get the pumpkin spice, Sarah gets the salted milk caramel frappuccino. The fact that you just called it PSL. <laughs> I love it. It was like, it's like Shark Week. I thought Shark Week was cool when I was a little geeky kid. Now everyone loves Shark Week, so I still like it. Is it right? I used to like pumpkin spice latte before it was like a hit three years ago. Because it's been going on for like 15 years. I've always loved it. It's been around. But it's only became cool once Instagram became a thing. Um, important announcement. Before pumpkin spice and salted caramel macchiatos, salted caramel frappuccinos, we forgot that it's election day. It's midterms. We didn't forget. We just like didn't get right out the door to go. So we're going to go make sure the polls are still open because the most patriotic thing Sarah and I together think is the most patriotic thing in the patriotic U.S. patriotic of states is... People died so we could vote. This country was founded so we could vote. Go vote. It was the most exciting thing about me turning 18 was the fact to vote. I actually registered to vote twice, so I get two t-shirts instead of one. Don't worry, same address, they only counted it once, but the high schooler that was passing out the forms gave me a second t-shirt, so. 20 minutes later. Check it out, check it out, check it out. I got my voted sticker. We got first in. First time as Floridians? Yeah, first, first Democratic primary election, election, primary election as a Floridian, so we did it. But now we're gonna go get some Starbucks! Love a good holiday drink. First fall drinks of the season. They actually have this all year round, they just don't have the salt. That's why when he didn't put salt on it, I was like, hey, is there salt on this? I'm glad not you said the something though. Type. She's not. She's definitely not one to say anything about drinks being bad that's, or anything. That's what I love. It smells like fall. This one's for you, Dustin. <laughs> they did not come out with us tonight. They still might. <laughs> Doubt it, but they still might. I said try to get to the contemporary by ten, or before ten because we're gonna try to get up to the top of the world lounge. That's the plan. Uh, the we're rules are always changing, spooky so. Spooky dock. We are in a spooky dock, because no one's here. <laughs> yeah, and there's a boat, this. come back. So, from here you can either take a boat to the Magic Kingdom, or you can take a boat to the Fort Wilderness Campground and the Contemporary. Oh man. Huh. I forgot how long this takes, because I think we have to go to Fort Wilderness. After this. But it's just a nice, it's just a nice relaxing timber. No, there's a geyser. Oh. But that's Mr. Smee and Captain Hook. Where are they? Going backstage. <laughs> They're Instead doing a fireworks the cruise. Pyro work. Pyro work. I'm gonna the throw pyro. in some, pyro. throw in some flashback photos of me doing that when I was I way was too old. <laughs> Sorry. It kicks off from the contemporary. So we're gonna hang on this beautiful resort. There's we're even like a, a little parade, in a parade inside. I haven't even seen these in the park. I really like that one. Yeah. And this looks like Stitch, but it's not, so I kind of have not. I have mixed feelings about it. This one's cool. I've never said that I'd break these in a day. 
Wait a minute, I don't know, these have to be new. But, look at this mug game here. Look at this stitch. It would be terrible to actually clean and drink out of because of the structure. But look at the stitch and the Lightning McQueen. Oh, so cute. $22.99 each. Oh, this was my favorite mug of my entire life. Broke it. And I broke it. I can't believe I still have it back. It's $13.99. For my birthday? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I hope they still have it. This is this is my favorite. Look at about the Yeti. Oh, it's the best mug they've ever made ever. My hair is doing not doing well in the rain and humidity, but she still she still loves me, so I'm good. Guys, my contact is really hurting. She has prescription medically prescribed contacts. They come in a vial. Very crazy. These are designed for the grand. These are designed for the contemporary resort. Can you tell to go to the grand Florida you want? Cute. Oh, sweet. Cute. So, do you think that, would you agree that the, uh, look at this Mr. Potato Head. Do you, th would you agree that the gift shops in the contemporary are far, far underrated than anywhere else? I always forget it. That there's actually like the two and then the gift shop. We're going to stop at the gift shop because they have trivia. And then I saw some chairs. That's like, that's like is this, place. this is newly rethemed. Look at Pixar Play Zone. That was not called that last time we were in there. All right, here we are, back at the name trivia. You think you could do it? Question one, who is Peter Pan's fairy friend? Tinkerbell. What is the name of Elsa's sister? Anna. Who is Aladdin's monkey friend? What does Mulan call herself when acting as a soldier? Name the Fab Five. Peter, Sarah, Dom, Matt, Chelsea. What is the name of Pocahontas' best human friend? Nakoma? Huh? I think her name is Nakoma. We're not sure about that one. I believe you. But it sounded like you didn't believe in yourself. Yeah. This is Sarah's heaven. When she passes away, she's going to come right here and haunt this corner of this gift shop and eat all the Edmonds. By the Powdered, way, chocolate, popums. It wasn't a coma? Good job. Big donuts, small donuts, donut holes, cookies. Cheesecake. Cheesecake. No, candy. Candy, Danish candy corn. Twists. Danish twists. Candy, oh, candy cane, candy, candy corn. Sir. We elves try to stick to the four main food groups. Candy, candy canes, candy corns, and syrup. Look at this, look at this, look at this. And now your host, Jiminy Cricket. Ghost host. No. He's a ghost host now. Which is not <laughs> Alrighty, check in. Located at the North Elevators. Fingers crossed they let us up. Alright, we are up here. We're up here very early. There's nobody else up really up here. I think it only opened at 6 o'clock. But we wanted to explain why we got up here. Let me get into the daylight. Or the light. We wanted to explain why we came up here so early, and it's because so the Top of the World Lounge is a DVC exclusive lounge. There's a caveat. You have to be a member to get up here. You don't have to be staying on your points. You don't have to be staying in a resort. You have to be with with a guest that is a registered guest. Yes. So like when our last time we were up here was our cousins were here right before Hurricane Irma a year ago. They were staying at All Star Music, one of the All Stars. So they scanned their magic band, I showed my card member, my membership card, they let us up. You're supposed to be staying. They do sometimes let you up if it's not busy. But also there's there's always rumors that the rules are going to change. Like for a period of time it was just Bay Lake DVC members. When it opened. Up, when it first opened. And then it changed to any DVC member because we've come up here before yeah. when we weren't staying on property and then it changed you have to be with somebody. And there was a big rumor eight months ago, right around New Year's, that they were gonna change it back to guests staying only at Bay Lake, which I think they realized very quickly. They never even implemented it, but that wouldn't have been a lot, because they make good money. Like, we have, we spend the money, we'll buy some drinks, we'll buy some appetizers, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of guests do that, so I think they realized what yeah. they would have been doing. But the other thing is, it's not in our DVC contract whatsoever. This is just kind of like an extra perk, so it's not really like anyone can really complain. Right. It's not really 
really a Sorry, part I got this. I could. I thought I could hear <laughs> Halloween music coming from the Magic Kingdom. So that's why we were so excited to come up here is because it is going to be the Hallowishes. Okay, I'm gonna try to catch it right here. But right here, that right there, is illuminations going off, and right over there is Star Wars going off. That is so crazy. I know you guys can't see it very well. And oh my God, are they playing Sajmo? They're playing Louis Armstrong, Wish Upon a Star. This is such a good version. Oh, all the nighttime festivities. Hi, people. We haven't been in here in a long time. Nice little water. Cool monorail mosaic. Peter is FaceTiming them. Oh, please. Retired Park Hopper podcast host. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye. That guy. Even spooky for the occasion. That was so good. You like feel it in your soul. And we felt so close because the Bay Lake is so, it's so much closer to the road that they shoot off some of those perimeters. Ooh, that and was so. If you so ever get a chance, yeah. Because of the All the fireworks smoke. Ooh. If you ever get a chance to come up here, you think they should take it or you think they should skip on it? Take it. The pool, so close but so far. You've never swam there before. It looks so inviting. On the fifth floor is the Monorail Skyway Bridge. But we're gonna break into one of these rooms. So just as we kind of like were welcomed with Peter by uh, Mr. Smee and Captain Hook, here's Peter doing the photo op at the end of the cruise with everybody getting off. Oh, here's a pirate. Here's a pirate. There is a pirate. Yeah. Hello. I voted right. twice. <laughs> <laughs> He's very good. He looks like he might visit the Kingdom of Arendelle sometimes. He looks like he might be on Instagram. Whatever. He looks like he definitely is on Instagram. <laughs> but we won't go any further detail there. He's a funny guy. I wish I had the camera out. That boat and this boat. We're like in a mirror formation right now. We both like reversed out of the dock. Look at that. Wow. They're going to the campgrounds or we're going to the lodge. Okay, so we're home. We don't have a bedside table, so like that's our cup of water. But we have this little cup here because uh, Eve's been sleeping at the foot of our bed. She's learned a new recent trick, and it's called I see that and I know it's water and I want some. So I'm gonna bark at it. Yeah, so give me some. now me and Sarah share a cup of ice water, <laughs> and now our princess dog Eve has her own cup of ice water. So oh. this, she sees it. She's like, oh, I, need my, I see my ice awesome. water cup. This is her cup of ice water and she knows it. So, we're gonna watch Nightmare Before Christmas to my chagrin. He's not nice. No, I like it. I just, I already feel how many times we're gonna end up watching it potentially. It's like Sarah's it's absolute like, favorite. 
It's like my like background noise. That and Hocus Pocus are like my Halloween time. We're doing a nightmare for Christmas tonight. Maybe tomorrow we'll do Hocus Pocus. Yeah. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.